Hey everybody, Corey Peterson with Kahuna Wealth Builders and author of Why the Rich Get Richer, The Secret to Cash Flowing Apartments. You know, in my new book, I talk about the entire process from buying to funding to operating multifamily apartments and how you can do it using OPM, other people's money. And so uh, this book is about the journey of what I call the cash flow life, how to get paid, you know, time and time again for work done once. It is a truly unique gift. And I used to think that I could do it through um, fix and flip and through wholesaling. And the truth is, is all I ever did was hustle and grind, hustle and grind. And I never, I made a decent living, but I never got truly wealthy. And apartments and apartment life and cash flow can absolutely make you extremely wealthy and profitable and like you know have real sums of money add up it is a very unique and cool process we're going to start this process and you know i just thought it would be great to give you some free training on kind of the how to and what it takes and i've come up with what i think are the the 10 steps that you're going to need and 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 the process of it on how to get apartments, right? So let's just go ahead and start that journey. So the first thing that you gotta do in this business is really truly is declare your success. So many times, you know, success, honestly, success starts in the mind. It starts with the belief pattern that you can be successful. And you may have been on a journey on that fix and flip route, that wholesale route, and it just didn't get you where you thought it would, would, would get you. That's okay, okay? That's the old path, here's the new path. And it's a lot easier than you think, but you've got to declare your success. I, you know, when I was first driving by apartments, I used to say this, I wish I could own an apartment. And that's all it ever was, was a simple wish. It, it didn't have any feet or legs. It couldn't do anything because that, it was just a wish. But one day, all I did was change the way I say things. And I asked myself, how can I own an apartment? Well, that changed everything. And so really declaring your success is more about you eternally saying, I am ready. I am tired of the hustle and grind. I am tired of, of living paycheck to paycheck. I want true freedom. I want the cash flow life. You want to become a cash flow creator. And honestly, I want you to be one too. So declare your success. It's so important. And once you get there in your mind, then you will start seeing unique things like come into your life that you didn't even think was possible, all right? Step number two. Step number two is to take immediate action, okay? Once you believe in your mind that you know what you're gonna do, you declare your success, then you have to take immediate action. So many times I see people that buy courses, buy stuff, and they never open it. <laughs> How do I know this? Am I guilty? Yes, I have lots of courses that I've paid for that I never opened. And unfortunately, I never got to harness any of the power. And so I see this all the time as people, they, you know, they, get, they go to these guru conferences and they get really excited and they buy a product and then they just, they just stop. Don't let that be you. Don't stop for the ultimate life of cash flow and time, time and money. Those like, that's what apartments will give you beyond like what you could ever dream of. And so don't stop. You have to take immediate action and get yourself moving towards the directions. Now, it's okay if you take baby steps, okay? I'm gonna give you permission to take baby steps but you have to start moving forward. You have to start building upon some progress. Because if you just stay still at the same place, you'll never get nothing. And that's no fun and that's not even worth it. So my goal is to like push you out of your comfort zone a little bit 
and to honestly get you to start getting in motion and get ready for what's coming because success is knocking at your door. I'm knocking at your door right now and I want you to come in. Come in and be family with me. Like, let's do this thing together. I couldn't think of a better way to share the gifts that I know than with someone like you that's, that's already you know, bought my book and you're ready and willing and able. Let's take some leaps of faith and get going. That's exciting, okay? So you gotta take immediate action. Number three is you gotta define your story. And we talked about this a little bit in the last uh, video that I put out, but defining your story is everybody has a story of where you came from, what you were doing now, and then all of a sudden it's like the rebirth, the new you. This is the new you. You've decided that you want to learn a little bit more about apartments and the cash flow life. Well, that's a new creation. That old thing is gone. And so you've got to start defining your story, defining what your success story is going to look like. Man, that's a fun process. It's a really fun process. And so many times, most people, they fall short. They stop dreaming. What a shame, right? Do you remember when you were a kid? I remember when I was a kid. I mean, I grew up on the farm in, in Missouri, and we had like 180 acres, and we had lots and lots of land. We didn't have lots of friends, but we had lots of land. And so when I got out, and you know, I'd go out, and I'd, I loved to cr climb trees as a, as a young boy. And I would climb trees, and I would go and climb these trees and be all by myself. And in my head, I would go and I would make believe and dream of all the things that I wanted to become. That's how powerful I and And in my mind, it seems so real. Like I could achieve those things. And as a young boy or young girl, didn't we used to dream and dream like lavishly? We never put limits on the things that we could do. And somewhere as becoming an adult, like people start telling us no. And they start telling you, you can't do that. And what's sad, what's really sad is that we started to believe them. I'm gonna challenge you not to believe those people. Believe that part of your head. Believe in that little kid again. Believe in that person who wants to live life and wants to live it abundantly. That's living. That's having passion. Passion is an amazing thing and you should be experiencing passion. So we're gonna define your story and it starts today. It really does. Start in your mind, crafting in your mind that you are going and be willing to do whatever it takes to be successful. That's really the key step. Is your, it's a mind shift of, I want to try, right? Remember Yoda said there is no try? Okay, it's either do or do not. And it's really, it sounds like complicated, but it's not. It's that simple. Do or do not, right? There is no try. And so I'm going to challenge you to open up your mind to believe and give, it, give yourself permission to dream again so you can start defining your story. Okay? All right. So the next thing, number four, is create the plan. So anytime I've been successful in life, I started with some frameworks and I'm going to give you more and more frameworks like you just, I think you had already gotten the, the video that I created on how to raise private money. So hopefully you've watched that. And you know, that's a lot of stuff right there. There's like an hour and 20 minute video. So, but I'm gonna help you start creating the plan. At the end of the series, I'm gonna give you kind of a template of like the process step by step by step. So you can have some framework. And then you can start like saying, okay, well, what, what do I need to do next? Where am I at now? And then what am I gonna do next, right? And that's like creating the plan of, okay, it, and it's okay, let's say we put a year to the plan to get it fully developed. Like some people can shorten it up and do it fast. I did it fast because like I had no other choice. But you can slow play it out too. It doesn't really matter where you start because I believe, I truly believe this, the journey is the reward. It's not about like immediate success or immediate gains. It's about the journey. It's about where you, where, who you used to be 
and who you're becoming, right? Who you're becoming is so much more important and so much more fun and exciting than who you were, right? But you need to know who you were because it, it really helps tell the distance that you've spanned, right? We're going to shatter some old beliefs. We're going to create new beliefs. And that's part of the process. And as you create the plan to say, here's exactly, I know what I need to do. I know, I've, I've took an inventory of what I have and what I don't have. And I have a clear vision on where I need to go. We're going to help you get there. All right, now the fifth thing that you must do when you're in the apartment business and apartment world is to network like crazy. In this game, like, you know, when I was a financial advisor, the, the one thing Edward Jones had taught me was how to go and be in places with people and like get to know them. And it's, for a lot of people, you're, you're right, probably saying right now, Corey, I... I, I don't like to meet people. I, that makes me real uncomfortable, okay? It did me too. <laughs> it did me too. What I found though is this. People are not going to seek you out. They're not. So if you wanna go meet new people, you have to be the instigator, okay? And so this is one of those beliefs that I had to break down in my mind is that people are going to look at me funny or think I'm weird or like, can I do it? And so then I asked myself, well, what was the price of not doing it? And that's called not being successful. And so I had to like break through it. So for an example, I, I'd go be, I, I'm asked to go speak at my local RIA. And even before that, I would go to the RIAs, right? As RIAs where I'm here in Arizona. And I would get there early, and as people would show up, I would shake their hand. Hey, how you, how you doing? Corey Peterson. And guess what? They held out their hand back, and they shook it. And then I just started asking questions. Hey, tell me about yourself. You know? <laughs> tell me, who are you, right? Tell me about the kind of investing that you like to do. Or I would go out into, you know, that's for, for real estate investors, go into a group of... Um, I, I volunteer. I'm a Rotarian. I, vote, I volunteer for Rotary. Why? Because it's a cause that I really enjoy, and I get to meet a bunch of people that have the same thing in common. And so then as we're talking, well, what do you do? You know, what do you do for fun? What do you do for work? What do you do for all these other things? You start, you just be curious, and you start meeting people. And it's really about networking. You network like crazy. Put yourself in positions to find places where you can meet new people and we do this because we're working on cultivating my number one thing which is OPM other people's money that's more important than finding a deal and learning operations and all that other crap the one thing that I want you to be like ninja good at ninja good at is raising private money raising private money will set you free it is the one thing that can you can bring all the other aspects together and make a cash flow life very simply and get yourself into lots of deals when you can bring capital to the game. So to do that, you've got to network like crazy. Put yourself in positions to meet people. You could be, you know, you're flying in a plane. Let's network with the people next to you, right? It's just that, I mean, there's, there's more times than you'll ever know that we're in front or by next to people that we probably should get to know. And to get to know people, you have to do a couple things. One, you stop talking. Two, you ask lots of questions, right? You ask lots of interesting thought-provoking questions because you want to be a curious cat you want to thoroughly try to enjoy other people's conversations and learning about who they are that is how you network like crazy right all right let's just go over here so um you know the sixth thing i think is is as you're starting to kind of go through this process is You've got to learn how to build a power team. 
Now, building a power team for uh, multifamily, it's not hard, right? You're just gonna have to cultivate and start calling. You wanna find a management company. A management company will do a lot for you. They'll do a tremendous amount of work for you. And then it's really about finding you know, brokers that you like into the markets that you like to follow um, and finding, you know, a title company, a lawyer, a PPM. I'm going to give you all my list of people that I use. Okay. So don't worry. If you get one of my courses, you will have a list of everybody that I use and I'll, it'll be like preferred treatment. Trust me. Okay. But um, you got to build a power team and you want to build your power team. Now you can use my power team, but if you're way out in different areas, you may want to build your own specific power team. And these are the people that are going to work for you and work with you in helping you achieve your goals of buying, operating, cash flowing apartments. It's really simple. So build a power team is really a fundamental step in the whole process. And then, of course, we're gonna find a deal. Now, finding deals, very easy to do, right? Finding or getting deal flow, very easy to do. Finding an actual deal that's worth the money that takes a little bit more of a process. And that's going to be an underwriting process that we have yet to develop. I'm gonna give you a process, I'm developing it now. It may take a while, probably another couple months before we're ready to launch it. Um, but when we do, it's going to be good. It's gonna, I'm trying to take the best of some, uh, some plans, the things that I use now, and I'm gonna to try to make something of my own that I think is user friendly, but has the depth that you're gonna need to like do multifamily right, right? But getting deal flow, very simple. You can get lots of deals sent to you, and then you've gotta use a underwriting uh, template or underwriting software to help filter out what truly is a deal, what truly is a deal. And we're gonna talk about what truly is a deal as we go in further and further down the rabbit hole with me, okay? All right, I am doing this outside so you never know what you're gonna get. That was a big monster uh, truck, I think, right down the road. And he's still there. <laughs> All right, so once we find a deal, the next thing is that we want to be able to fund it with OPM, other people's money. That is so key to what we do, okay? It is the one thing, again, the one thing that I wanna teach you to become like a Wudan Ninja master, right, on how to raise other people's money. And it's simply done by you never ask people for their money. You always ask, who do they know? You know, that's like, what? Yeah, never ask people for their money. You ask them, who do they know? And that's a way to get, you know, take away the sting of, oh gosh, they're gonna try to sell me something, as to, no, I just want you to understand it because this is what I do. And I think you have a lot of influence over people and this may help some of your friends. And then the right people always, always self-select. My God, what's going on in my neighborhood? <laughs> so the right people always uh, self-select. All right, so the ninth thing that we're gonna do is we need to operate for profits, okay? That's kind of a no-brainer. But you would be surprised how many people that I, when I see that they're trying to operate, they're trying to make this, um, they're over doing their, their rehabs, their turns. They're putting too much nice stuff in there, thinking, oh God, it's gotta be really nice. What I've learned in workforce housing, which is what we do, B and C properties, C and B properties, and you know, uh, and try to be in B areas, you can overdo things, right? So you don't have to go over the top. You just have to have it clean, nice, affordable, and up to the best standard, but you don't have to like go grossly over. And so when we're operating for profits, we're very nimble on our purchases and the things that we're gonna buy on our improvements that we're making. We're gonna be very strategic in what we're upgrading and why we're upgrading and where we get the most bang for the buck. You know, we talk about lighting. I've talked about lighting. You know, lighting is one of those things that it's probably one of the cheapest things you'll do that you'll get the biggest bang for the buck in your um, tenant's eyes because it changes the whole way your property looks at night. 
and no one wants to walk into a dirt uh, a dirty dark area that's that looks spooky and so by using led lighting on our properties and changing out all the flu um, incandescent lights man it makes a world of difference in your apartment community and that like really makes people happy that that makes your tenants start talking to all their friends about what's going on at your community and that's exactly what you want you want your your staff the the, the tenants everybody at your property to be talking about why the community that you have is so special and that keeps people it's sticky it keeps them there for a long time because they don't want to leave they like the community see building community is so important in your apartments you want to have that manager it's why it's hiring is important why getting that operations manager is important when you're building your power team all these things everything up here connects there's a connection and it really means something all right so operate for profits i love profits right that's that's how we get our cash flow life and the last thing is when we sell when we sell properties we're going to sell for a premium in other words we're going to list it above what we even think we could sell it for now why do we do this well believe it or not there's lots of money i mean wall street money looking for apartments too and there's what we call busted 1031 exchanges where uh someone had sold an asset and in order not to pay taxes, they have to find another asset quickly. And um, they become very motivated. And if you'll learn, if you'll follow with me and we get through my process, we, you'll understand that when we hold a property for five years, what we have is a five-year story of rising income and steady expenses. And so people will pay good money for steady rising income that's a very valuable asset and when you have a five-year history of that going on at a property with complete detailed financials it tells a money story that the wall street guys are willing to pay big money for and that is how we sell for a premium in this business so there's the 10 steps. I don't want to make it much longer than this, but guys, I mean, here's the thing. You know, you may be asking yourself right now, can I do this? And I'm telling you right now that you absolutely can. Because if I can do it, I mean, I started off with nothing. I was not spoon fed. I didn't have anything like, there's no excuses. Because if I can do it, I know you can. And in fact, you'll probably be so much more better than I am right now the other part is this get uncomfortable get way uncomfortable and start dreaming again because the key to success is I could give you all the steps one through ten or whatever that you need right but I can't make that first step for you I can't you have to make that it has to be your decision you have to be ready to start living a new life and it's got to be a life that you can visually see you've got to have that first part you got to declare your success you got to know it in your mind that it's possible if you don't think it's possible guess what you're right I want to prove to you that this life is possible it's the life when I was younger when I first started I didn't think it was possible I didn't think it was but I'm telling you right now it absolutely is and I'm asking you to trust me to believe it even if you don't know exactly how you're gonna end up don't worry because again the journey is the reward it will get you it's it's not an overnight success story okay but it is a success story so I thank you so much for your time hopefully this has been valuable free training and guys uh, just appreciate it. Go to Kahuna Wealth Builders if you need to learn more. Thanks and have a wonderful day.